I do this inside, I like to be more stable. Um, so the mixture is two to one. Um, two parts of the expensive stuff to one part of the cheap stuff. <laughs> couldn't, so be the, over couldn't be the reverse. Yeah, I know, exactly. That's why I remember it that way. Um, it's not critical at all, um, as you can tell by my high precision measuring instrument here. Uh, so I did four of those, so I'm going to do two of these. Now, if you want the mixture to go to burn faster than it does, um, you can actually mix in um, some powdered charcoal, and you'll get um, a, so it, instead of the oxidizer oxidizing the sugar for its carbon, it will uh, burn some of the, uh, some of the charcoal. Um, unfortunately, that doesn't produce anything except for carbon dioxide. Um, so what you end up with is not more smoke produced faster, it just burns a lot faster. But if you want it to do something like uh, rocket fuel, uh, you would uh, mix in a little bit of, uh, of the carbon just to increase the burn rate. This stuff burns very much like a flare. you got to keep it moving so that you don't overheat anything. This is probably actually a Uh, and the uh, potassium nitrate starts out a little chunky here. As it starts to heat up and dry off the water, it'll turn into a very fine, smooth powder that mixes up very well. You can't actually do this completely without mixing it. In fact, you can even mix it with water um, and burn it wet. Uh, it just takes more of the uh, reaction energy to vaporize all the water that's in there. But it's handy for forming it, and if you just want to do it quickly, you can do it that way. Um, I prefer to do it with uh, heating it because it feels like you're doing something more technical. Uh, and then, as the as the uh, <laughs> thank you, <laughs> as the uh, process continues here, it'll, it'll first get it'll get real powdery, it's starting to starting to dry out here, and then uh, as it continues, it'll, the sugar will start to melt. And basically, the whole process is just to melt the sugar and encapsulate all of the uh, uh, potassium nitrate. And as that sugar melts, it'll start to it'll start to pill up here. And you just want to keep going until it is uh, until it starts to turn a little bit brown. Um, you want to lay out some of that. I just do it on the ground. Yeah, you can see with, if you can if you're up close enough, you can see it's starting to melt here. Um, one thing you do need to watch out for is as you're heating it, uh, the sugar will tend to um, it, it holds a lot of heat, and if you overheat it too fast or if you have really thick areas, um, it'll start to burn uh, on the bottom before you notice it, and when you go to move it. Um, It'll keep burning because, like, the temperature kind of overshoots, and uh, if that starts to happen, you're very close to having a very smoky kitchen. Yeah. Uh, and you can see it's starting to the, the sugar's starting to mix up here. I do recommend a non-stick pan for this. Um, you're not going to get uh, in a high temperature mixer. Um, you're not going to get up into the temperatures where you're messing with the pan at all, and it's water soluble. So when you're done, you just rinse it off. Okay, so it's starting to turn color there. What's that? You said it is water-soluble? It is water-soluble. Water um, and in fact, um, because it is sugar mostly, or partially, um, it will pull moisture from the air if you try to store them. Um, and it'll get all sticky on the outside, which is not a hindrance to the material, but it is really nasty to work with. Um, so if you're going to store them for any length of time, keep them in a tightly sealed container. Almost the same recipe for candy. Yeah. Probably tastes pretty good, too, actually, if you want to. <laughs> Um, you can you can make make or buy fuses to put on this. Um, fuses really aren't necessary. Uh, if you want to make one, just take a little piece of paper and twist it into a curl. And then when you pour the stuff out, um, just drag it through there. You smell it. It's starting to smell like peanut rubber. Do you need that on the strip to clean your spatula? Uh, no, I just wipe it off on this. Okay. Um, but if you are uh, lighting it with like a torch or whatever, um, there's really no need for a fuse.
Okay. So, uh, so you're wrapping it in oil and kind of heat. Uh, two pounds of potassium nitrate in a big pot on the stove. What's your... My body was <laughs> like two pounds of potassium nitrate on a, in a, a giant of stock powder. Yeah, uh, yeah, on the stove in his parents' kitchen, and uh, they had to do it. There was so much smoke though. Nobody called the. The. It was pretty bad. Like they opened the window and nobody thought. Yeah, there was no, no, there was, a was it white or black? It's, 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 it's white. Yeah. It's typically, a house fire is black smoke. Oh. What's that? Well, that only happened once. But <laughs> it wasn't very obvious. His mother was in the kitchen with him. So it wasn't so bad. Yeah, be, because of the way that um, the sugar uh, holds the heat and doesn't uh, move it around very well, if you want to make a lot of it, it's really best to do it in small batches. Um, if you're working outside and you're really confident or you have good temperature control, um, if you have a, like a hot plate where you can set the temperature, um, you can make bigger batches. But um, it just gets really hard to work with. And then when you go to pour it, um, you know, you're working with uh, probably 300 degree sugar and um, you don't want to touch that. It, it burns very quickly. Um, if you don't want uh, the foil to be on it, um, Use non stick spray on the foil because it, it's difficult to get off there. Um, and you can see that there's some little dark areas in here. Uh, this is from uh, the, the temperature is kind of overshot a little bit and it's caramelized a little bit extra. Um, I probably should have taken it off just a few, maybe 30 seconds sooner. Uh, but if that continues, it will actually ignite itself and burn um, and you can't put it out. Uh, that's the uh, you know, it, since it has the fuel and the oxidizer mixed in there, it'll burn underwater anywhere. Uh, so, it would be kind of cool. It would be kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, when this uh, solidifies um, in a couple of minutes, we can go outside and set it off. Yeah, it'll be fun. Uh, and actually, you probably don't actually need to wait for it to cool off. Uh, it's going to burn. I mean, you don't, like I said, you don't technically even really have to heat it up. Um, it's just more convenient that way. Uh, if you're, people like to use them for uh, like paintball games and stuff like that, and carrying around things with powder in them is a little more inconvenient. Uh, so, what got you into doing this? I mean, you have obviously a bunch of testing methods in here. This is the smallest <laughs> amount I could find in <laughs> Okay, so you bought it just for the... I bought it for smoke bombs. Cool. The biggest one I made was a toilet paper, or a paper towel tube, uh, which burned for, I don't know, two minutes. Yeah, so it's not very black something, so... <laughs> yeah. That's actually what I started looking into it for, too. Um, for yeah, and um, when I bought that, uh, that was the minimum order from Skylighter, and I had to also go find five dollars for other stuff. So if anybody has a particular need for some terephthalic acid, got a little tub of it. <laughs> uh, I have no idea what you would use it for, but that's awesome. It doesn't do anything with putting in a smoke bomb. <laughs> we did have an at one time. <laughs> a few burn marks in the carpet. <laughs> Just the cat. That's and the cat. Uh, cats, cats burn green, by the way. <laughs> okay, so it's starting to harden up. It's, it's, it's a lot like tapping. You can see where it's, it's burned in the middle there. Definitely should have kept it uh, a little cooler than that. But, um, it will. Yeah, and um, stump remover. Uh, because the stuff is uh, really not very sensitive to the mixture, um, you can get potassium nitrate uh, at the hardware store as, as stump remover. Uh, you can only buy it online. Though. Oh, really? Yep, I checked that. <laughs> okay. But uh, that's almost entirely potassium nitrate with some other crap in it. Um, and it probably would work just fine for this. Um, but the pure stuff is powdered, um, which is easier to mix with your sugar. Um, and really not that difficult to get. You don't need a license or anything like that. You might end up on some watch lists, but... <laughs> <laughs> I think so, you'll end up on any... Uh, yeah, probably on <laughs> <laughs>